This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Uh, this is one of the short measuring tables here at Sailrite, and what we're doing is we want to install a storage pouch here for tape measures, scissors, what, ha what have you. Um, you'll notice that we have already installed studs in the steel, and we did that using the, uh, the Snaprite uh, surface mount stud die uh, earlier, and again, you can watch that video separately. Uh, so we've got our permanently mounted studs in our fixed surface. And I have Vicki here. Vicki's our shipping manager, uh, one of our assistant shipping managers here at Sailrite. And uh, uh, she's never used this tool before to do anything but the studs, so we're going to show her how to use the tool to actually install the buttons now. So Vicki, what we want to do first is we're going to use our, our socket die. And our socket die already is set up to snap to an existing stud. So you'll notice that this die, I'm going to put a mandrel in it here first because if I don't, it's hard to unsnap. So I'm gonna put the mandrel through, and you'll notice that this die will snap right onto that existing stud. And I imagine you probably know what we're gonna do here. We've got a pointy object here. We're gonna push our fabric through it, and that's actually gonna position our button right where we want it in our canvas. So, uh, and the first part of this really isn't that interesting, but when we get to the point where we get to the second button, the third button, and so on, uh, then you start to see how this system really works well. So what we want to do here first is we want to put a, a, uh, a socket on that fitting. So don't, don't, uh, yep, there you go. Nope, other way around, other way around. It's got to snap onto that. So you just push it on there, it should snap right on. Okay, so that holds it in place so it can't fall off. Okay. Now all we need to do is we, you need to decide, making sure since you have your, your studs mounted where it needs to be positioned. So I'm about over this stud here. So pick a location and poke it straight through. Just don't poke yourself. Okay, good. So that looks like a pretty good position to me. Okay, now we can just let that hang. Now what we need to do is we need to get the die out that we just used a little bit ago, and this just squeeze the trigger and you just turn that die out. Okay, Okay. we need our button die, and you do the same thing. Now you gotta squeeze the trigger a little bit to back the jaws off. Okay, and it doesn't have to be super tight, just finger snug. Okay. And now you need a button. And since we're only installing in one layer of canvas here, we're going to use one of the buttons with an 11 64ths inch barrel length. Okay. If we were in thicker assemblies, we'd need a longer barrel in order to make sure that we get a proper rivet roll. Okay. Uh, but in this case, the shortest rivet length will work very well. So all that does is that just sits down in that cavity. Pretty easy, nothing to it. Turn Pretty the tool easy. over and you'll see it won't fall out. Okay? Yes. Now, all I've, now all you have to do is position that over the mandrel and push it all the way on. Okay, now your job is to apply pressure inward okay. while you're squeezing the trigger, and you want to squeeze the trigger slowly, and you may have to do it multiple times. You, you can break the mandrel if you want, but you don't need to. Uh, that's more pressure than you need. So typically what I tell people is to, is to go until the point that it really starts to feel tight, and you'll develop a, a keen sense of how tight they need to be after setting just a few of these. So go ahead. It doesn't have to be held in any way. This one can spin. So you, you don't have to worry about moving that on the first one. Pretty good. Feeling pretty good there? Mm -hmm. Okay. And if it's not tight enough, we'll show you what happens. So just go ahead and pull the die out. There you go. And now all you do is you'll have to unsnap that component from the back side. So you just pull it out. There you go. And what we want to do is we want to look at our rivet. And you'll notice we have a very nice roll to the rivet. You see that? and feel your fastener. It doesn't spin easily, which is what you want, which means that you did a nice job. You got it nice and tight on your first attempt, so that was a good job. And I don't know if you can see that, but uh, if you zoom in on that, you'll see that the rivet is rolled very nicely. Okay. Now, the real key to the system, though, is that when now when I take the tooling out, I can snap this to the stud that's already there. Okay. Now we need to come over here, and we want to get this nice and tight. So here's where we really get into the benefit of the tool, because now when I take my mandrel and put it into my socket die and snap this in position and now what don't we want to forget we need one of those sockets don't we or one of the uh, yeah sockets so put that on okay now I can use this as a positioner so notice I can pull this material over I can pull it with some tension and what I want to do is I want to bend the mandrel a little bit toward you so that when when I have a hole in here that if anything it's a little tight through the center so that this doesn't have any slack in it. 
So we're going to push our mandrel off to the side toward you. I'm going to try and get this at about the same level you had it. That looked pretty good there. And now what I get here when I push this all the way in is pretty much what I'm going to end up with. But that looks pretty good, doesn't it? If I wasn't happy with how tight it is, I'd pull this off and I'd punch a new hole uh, with the mandrel and, and move the hole right or left, whichever way. And then I'm going to do this one. Well, no, you do it. Here you go. Okay. Go ahead. Check your rivet just to make sure it looks good. Looks good. Good deal. All right, snap her on. All right. Now you can install. You can install all the bags you had made. <laughs> so, and that's all there is to it. And if you can imagine, if I had a boat cover, so this is just a very small example, I would just work my way around as I'm attaching the fasteners, and I would guarantee you that I get a, a nice tight fit. So it, it's a fantastic tool for, for installing uh, any type of a cover on any type of a fixed article. And it also helps with positioning fasteners in cloth-to-cloth -cloth assemblies. And uh, that's how it works. Cool. All right, thanks, Vicki. Order the SnapRite system from Sayerite. The SnapRite system includes four dies, 100 mandrels, instructions, and a handy carrying case. Order yours today. The SnapRite System dies are proudly made in the United States by a local tool and die company in Columbia City, Indiana. Sayerite paid a visit to the tool and die company and watched as the SnapRite eyelet dies were being manufactured. The CNC turning lathe feeds steel bar into a spindle which turns at high speeds as multiple cutters trim away at the bar to create each SnapRite die to exacting specifications. When the tooling is complete, it drops each one of the SnapRite dies into a bin at the bottom after it's been cut, and here's one of the eyelet dies for the SnapRite system. Order the SnapRite system from Sayerite.